Hello, and you're very welcome to Milano Torino for 2021. It's the oldest classic of them all. Dates all the way back to 1876. We're heading out of Magenta, which is just outside of uh, Milano, another protected part of the world, heading across the Po Valley, across the rice fields, a little uh, detour north from Vercelli, and we pick up a little climb of Zimone, but it's uh, fundamentally a flat run for the riders. Cigliano, and then back towards the long flat run towards Torino, and that little sting in the tail. We go up and we have a finishing circuit which includes two climbs of Superga, just under five kilometers in length, and it's a grippy one. That's what it looks like in the profile, that little climb of Zimone coming long enough, far, far enough away from the line, not really to be a factor, but the two climbs of Superga are going to be the major appointment. And it's time to get going. Could it possibly be Van Sevenage has been encouraged to see what he's capable of? He is riding in a manner that he is almost as if he doesn't know there's a time to come. Believe you me, he absolutely does. He and the rest have already been over it. What about that? Mike is charging ahead, and uh, Julian Alaphilippe not quite equal to this one at the moment. What's happening behind as Adam Yates goes ahead and around and presses on. Will Alaphilippe be able to respond here? Was that all about Almeida? Looks to me as if it's all up for Julian Alaphilippe. Is he done for the season? Has he got something left for Saturday? He's not putting this on for show. He really is feeling the pinch. His time out front about to come to an end. Mary Van Sevenen has been overhauled. And Adam Yates, who had a, a really worrying moment, he was behind, he was in that chase group. The Ineos Grenadiers team had to do so much chasing to ensure that their man was in prime position. And in this chase group are seeing their chances disappearing up the road. Courtesy of Adam Yates, he didn't seem even remotely interested in the performance of the riders behind him. He's just doing his own ride and trying to make it consistently painful. And it's a very effective uh, piece of work because Michael Woods has been distanced. So too has Alejandro Valverde. Pogacar's uh, feeling the pinch as well. And uh, Almeida's had to ride up and over Pogacar. And it's only Primus Roglic that can follow Adam Yates now. It's Yates that looks as if he's just out for a training spin, really. And it's only Roglic now, you feel, that can prevent Adam Yates from taking glory here. Roglic playing a canny game. And now they're looking around, and Adam Yates uh, knows that this is the phony war. This is the moment when they have to figure out exactly what they're capable of. Almeida's almost got up to Pogacar. Pogacar in turn is closing up. Here's the attack. Here it comes. The first salvo fired by Adam Yates. He did the attacking on the first uh, time of asking on the final assault of the Basilica Superga. And now it is Adam Yates that goes for glory. And Roglic is having to grind his way back on. Is he going to get there in time? He's going to make it onto the back wheel of Adam Yates momentarily. Will he have something left to try and get around him? Final, first man into that final turn is going to be really important here it is a, a complicated little finale and Primus Roglic has made it back up onto the wheel of Adam Yates and goes to come around him Primus Roglic around Adam Yates and into the final couple of hundred meters and he has to give best to the man from Slovenia once more a brave effort from Adam Yates he shakes his head he can hardly believe it but he's got to it's happened once again and Primus Roglic is going to take victory here through that final bend 50 meters to go a look over your shoulder chapeau Primus Milano Torino 2021 falls to the man from Team Jumbo Visma. Confirmation of the finishing order at the conclusion of Milano Torino with Primus Roglic getting the victory by fully 12 seconds in the end ahead of Adam Yates. Joao Almeida getting up to third just ahead of Tadej Pogacar, Michael Woods, Gaudu, Lisi, Masnare, Quintana, and Valverde rounding out the top 10. All star top 10. Primus Roglic sitting atop. Primoz, another beautiful victory. You just saw it on TV. Did you like what you did today? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, uh, result was great. Uh, weather was nice. Uh, race was nice. Uh, yeah, for me it could be a little less hard. Uh, but yeah, it was uh, with the echelons. Uh, wow, super hard. Uh, Enter into the final uh, final lap to the first time to the climb and uh, yeah at the end I had a leg so uh, I could finish it off. Uh, take us through the last uh, half kilometer just before Adam Yates attacked. Did you expect that? Were you confident? Were you sure to win? Uh, yeah, for sure I expected. Yeah, definitely. Uh, uh, you know what I mean? It's it's hard and you know 
you never really know uh, what you have in the legs left uh, for, for the final uh, for the final kick. Uh, sometimes it goes, sometimes it doesn't go. Uh, but yeah, today I had it, so uh, yeah, I, I managed it to, to follow and uh, yeah, then pass him. Cycling is not only about winning, it's also about who you beat. Do you realize you have beaten a very high quality field today? <laughs> oh yeah, uh, uh, it's always uh, in cycling, no matter uh, which guys are around you, uh, they are always uh, yeah, strong guys, uh, everyone. Uh, so uh, yeah, uh, it was, uh, was a nice company, definitely. And uh, yes, I'm uh, super happy.